In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Now turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. Okay, so we're, it could go now if it goes. There it goes, it committed. I did nothing there, it committed on its own. I'm just gonna slow it down a little bit. It uh, didn't quite see that 45 sign. have to push it through this intersection here. It thinks this uh, requires a stop, which of course it doesn't. Merge into a lane, single lane here. but it is a short left turn lane, so I, yeah, we're slowing down already. I'm just going to encourage it to keep moving because there's a person right behind me. I'll let it start now. There we go. So it's taking its time with this left, but I mean it's safe. Okay. Now lately it's been handling these speed bumps really well. There we go, slowing down for first set. It does consistently slow down to about 16 miles an hour for each speed bump. Okay, it proceeded on its own through the intersection. Second stop sign. Again, proceeding on its own through the intersection. A little more hesitant on this one, probably with the car parked on the curb there. Here comes the second set of speed bumps. And slowing down for that on its own. There's the 16. Next stop sign. And proceeding on its own as well. And the final set of speed bumps, which, let's see if it sees it. Now yes, it does, slowing down for the speed bumps. Drive. Turn signal for the, the stop sign. Still hugging the right just a little bit, but proceeding up to the stop sign. After this vehicle, we're clear to go, and there we go. A little hesitant, but it's completing the turn. That was no interventions on my part. So for those that have been following along since uh, October, you can see how things have been improving. We've been on this build for, I believe, over 100 days now, and uh, we are seeing these small improvements in its performance without any uh, software updates. Okay, so I'm just gonna cancel this. Wait till we pass this intersection here, and then I'll put my start point back in. a lot. doesn't take the turn. It could take it at 50, but it slows a little bit. So, left turn signal should come on. Oh, it did this time. Interesting. There it is.
nice acceleration all on its own for the green. That was just, that beep was just me not putting enough uh, pressure on the wheel. A little hesitant accelerating here for some reason, but that's okay. Now, I'm curious to see if it tries to get in the right lane again when it and it, when the right lane doesn't quite exist yet, and it doesn't need to be in the right lane. So usually about where that car is there, it tries to get over into this bike lane on the right. Let's see what it does today. Right about... There it is, it's still doing it. So I'll just intervene, that logs the correction. And usually it figures it out about here. There we go. So same little bug there. Going a little slow, I'm just giving it some accelerator to keep moving. There we go. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, give it a little more. There it goes. Now it's got control again with the accelerator. It took the steering the whole time. slows down a little bit a little bit much for each of these turns. It can go a little bit quicker. There we go. I gave it a little push with the accelerator. It's changing to the left lane for the upcoming left turn on its own. Good acceleration after we finish the turn. Okay, the uncontrolled left turn. Let's see what kind of oncoming traffic we have today. So far it's clear. So it's already started slowing down for the left. It's about right. Might have been a little slow, but so as you can see it approaches the turn very cautiously and it's clear so it's completing the left. That was with zero interventions on my part. And there we go. Test loop one as of June 20th, 2021.